Hello viewers, we'll be going over Gush and Drip, in this video we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and the day by day probability model. So let's start off with the technical analysis on the 1 hour chart for Gush. We have dipped into negative MACD and we have yet to test the 100 moving average, this orange line as our temporary support at the price of $51.78. As we extend out to the 4 hour chart, we still remain in positive MACD, but we did see it diverge and we're off of overbought levels with the RSI. As for the daily chart, we still remain in positive MACD and slightly off of overbought condition with the RSI. As for the trade idea of the week, my position size is less than 1% of my portfolio and my entry is at $46.85 and that is this range here. My sell target for it is at $54.90 and that is this range there. My stop loss is at $45.08. And now let's examine drip. On Friday, close above 6.8%. And on the one hour chart, we have now approached to pause MACD. And as we extend out to the four hour chart, we still remain in negative MACD, but we did see it converge there. And we're off of oversold levels with the RSI. If we extend that once more onto the daily chart, we continue to remain in negative MACD, seeing sideways action there, and still nearing oversold levels with the RSI. And as for the trade idea of the week for drip, my position position size is less than 1% of my portfolio. My entry is at $16.09. My sell target for it is at $19.56. And that is this range here, which coincide with the nine day moving average, which will act as our resistance in the meantime. And my stop loss is at $14.86. So how did I develop these trade ideas? It all comes from the day by day probability model, which is available in the link below. So do check it out. This model is examining XOP. So Gush is a leveraged version of XOP and drip is an inverse leverage version of XOP, so do keep in mind with that. As we progress to the fifth day or week of trading, we have a 33% chance for XOP to climb between 6% to 11%, and to the downside, it has a 33% chance to fall between 0 to negative 6%, and for the extreme case to the downside, a 33% chance to fall between negative 6% to negative 11%. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.